Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to make this video to give a warning as to why you need to be very, very careful with intermittent fasting and having adrenal fatigue. Because yeah, I've had a variety of people ask me on various different videos, can I do intermittent fasting safely whilst having adrenal fatigue? And yes, you can, but you need to be very mindful of if it's gonna have a negative effect on you and if it is having a negative effect on you should I even say so yeah you can do it but yeah what you need to be aware of is if you are doing intermittent fasting and you have adrenal fatigue you need to be very aware of if you are going into too much of a stress response because intermittent fasting is a form of stress on the body but it's not a bad stress in most cases and by it stressing out the body it allows the body to grow and adapt so then it becomes more resilient because in our natural environment we'd always have these type of stressors going on we didn't have access to food all of the time and we'd come into a lot of situations that were very very stressful and our bodies would have to adapt so yeah, it just makes you stronger and stronger and stronger. So yeah, it could be very beneficial to you. But having forms of stress that's chronic stress long term is gonna have very detrimental effects on your mental and physical health holistically. Because it has been shown through scientific research that chronic stress, where you've got stress every day long, for example, with a job that you don't like or a relationship that is really bad and traumatic, it creates loads of toxic byproducts within the body and in the brain. It also destroys your immune system and it has a whole host of other negative effects as well. So you really don't want that to be happening. But it can be bad for this stress to be happening to someone that's got adrenal fatigue. So if you find you're doing intermittent fasting and your body just feels like it's going into too strong of a stress response where your nervous system is overstimulated and it feels like you've taken some stimulants such as coffee or other stimulants out there where neuroadrenaline and adrenaline and cortisol which are the three stress hormones feel like they've gone through the roof then you should not carry on intermittent fasting as soon as you notice that that is happening with you whilst you're in the intermittent fasting state i would recommend breaking your fast with some food as soon as possible and yeah, I have a lot of experience with this myself because I have gone through stages of adrenal fatigue in the past and done intermittent fasting. And yes, yeah, sometimes I have found whilst in the intermittent fasting state while having adrenal fatigue, I just get stuck in a stress response and I feel so overstimulated. It starts to have a whole host of negative effects on me and it just feels absolutely horrible. So yeah, you need to be very, very mindful around that. So yeah, just be very, very, very safe. Otherwise, a lot of the benefits from intermittent fasting are actually gonna turn into a lot of negative effects and stop a lot of the positive effects that you're meant to get from daily intermittent fasting. And what I say is the longer that you fast, the more stress is put on the body and the more chance you have these free stress hormones going elevated. And with someone that doesn't have adrenal fatigue, they won't go as high as someone that has adrenal fatigue with the neuroadrenaline, adrenaline and cortisol. So for people that haven't got adrenal fatigue, it's not necessarily gonna be an issue with them intermittent fasting, but with someone that's got adrenal fatigue, then it can. So what I'd also recommend, if you're new to intermittent fasting, so what I'd recommend, if you're someone that wants to get into intermittent fasting or you're already into intermittent fasting and doing it on a regular basis while having adrenal fatigue, just be aware of your stress levels within the body going too high. And yeah, if you notice, for example, you're trying to eat one meal a day where you're fasting for the longest period of time throughout the whole day, which is normally around 23 hours, rather than the intermittent fasting method where you normally eat two meals, which is around a 16 hour fasting window, an eight hour window. If you're trying to get to the length of the fasting window that you want to, and you'll find you aren't near it and your body's in that major stress response with neuroadrenaline and adrenaline cortisol going through the roof. Don't just push for it and just continue on. Make sure that you do break the fast and start eating as soon as possible because the longer you leave it, the more detrimental effects it's gonna have 
and yeah it could send you into a state of really making your adrenal fatigue worse where you get to the point where you can't intermittent fast at all so stay safe and be careful so yeah and if you're someone that is new to intermittent fasting you're just about to get into it i'd say start off with a shorter fasting window don't just start with one meal a day fast anywhere for around 12 hours and then slowly over time start going towards 13 14 15 16 hours and see how far you can push it without it having all of these major negative effects on adrenal fatigue with the stress response going too high so yeah just be very mindful around that and experiment with it and see what works for you because it's going to be different for each different person and yet yeah, you can try and do things to reduce the stress response such as deep belly breathing the Wim Hof method meditation getting a massage and all of these different amazing things but what I say is from my own personal experience those things can work absolutely amazing and many other things as well but when I have had adrenal fatigue being in an intermittent fasting state those things can relax me but I can still feel this is underlying stress within my body that doesn't feel like a good form of stress so when that is occurring yeah I still go and break my daily intermittent fast so yeah that is it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below and I get back to you as soon as possible if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to learn about why they need to be careful with intermittent fasting daily and adrenal fatigue that they may have and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more one meal a day informational videos, intermittent fasting informational videos, videos where I'm showing you what I eat for my one meal a day on a plant-based vegan diet, calisthenics workout and progression videos, and all different videos to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body you desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming every single day without fail. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.